Guess what time it is? TNT time. Today's topic is social media. Okay, that's broad. Obviously, there are hundreds of different directions that conversation could go, but we're going to focus on who to follow. Should we be sticking to what we like and who we agree with? Or should we be branching out and following opinions and people we disagree with? Now, T, we both watched uh, The Social Dilemma, and I'm, there are so many things from that docudrama that would keep you up at night. But this one in particular, I thought I would pull <laughs> from it to talk about... Um, the whole idea of, of having this community on social media, I'm not even talking about the internet in general, but just social media. I think a lot of us, me included, I love to go to my page and see a lot of the values and the beliefs and, you know, the things that I find to be foundational reflected back to me on my page. Now, what the social dilemma showed me was that the scary thing is the more you lean into certain subject matters and viewpoints, the more you get that back. And the issue with this is that now all we are doing is falling into our rabbit holes of all the things we believe and having people back that up versus seeing what other people might be saying. And I struggle with this because I want social media to be a space that inspires me and makes me feel good and validates me. On the other hand, you know, every once in a while, I'll go downstairs to the basement and my husband is watching Fox. He's watching it because he thinks it's important that he takes in Fox and CNN and BBC and all of the news that's coming in so that he has a better sense of what's out there. And I think maybe that's what needs to be happening more in social media. T, what do you think? I'm just going to be honest for my own mental health. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch. I, can't I don't do necessarily it. want to watch things <laughs> that are going to infuriate me or get me upset. And I do see the dangers in both. Like, I, I think we should all be informed and we should be balanced and we should know what we're talking about. And it's true. You can't be an informed uh, person and, and, and argue your point, you know, solid in a solid way if you if you just have one side and it's, it's unbalanced. And I totally get that. I'm intelligent enough to understand that. And so I guess and this is why I just have a problem watching the news in general because I walk away feeling bad. Yeah. So I understand why people, like you said, you want to be validated. You want to like know there's other people out there who agree with you and it makes you feel better that you're thinking this thing and somebody else is thinking that. It also showed us that, yeah, the more you take in that information, the more they send stuff that is in that in ingredients with you. So if you start, what I'm worried about, if you start to go on other sites that you don't agree with, am I now going to get sent that that rhetoric to oh. me and also are they documenting that I am reading that and watching that and I don't really want people to know that I'm reading and watching something <laughs> that I don't agree with so I very much because people might misunderstand that I don't want all the rhetoric sent to me like and that's what will happen if you start watching videos that like you totally disagree with you'll get that stuff sent to you so I totally think we should be doing that I just don't have the mental capacity to, if I'm being honest, to sit there and watch things that are just spewing opinions that I don't, that I like not just slightly agree with, that I like morally disagree with. That's traumatic for me. Like it's really upsetting for me to see that there are people who maybe think what happened with George Floyd was actually a hoax and COVID is not really happening and you don't really need masks, you'll be fine without them. It's, it's tough for me to go to sleep at night because then I think, where's society going? Like, we're never, we're so divided and there's so many different viewpoints. So I'm stuck where you are, my friend. Here's my compromise. Um, I have started since this, you know, really huge racial uproar. We've been talking about race forever, but since the world caught up, I'm, you know, stepping into what is happening with indigenous communities, stepping into what is happening with Armenian mm -hmm. communities around the world, stepping into what is happening in African countries. And, and, and that's sort of my compromise to not be sticking my head in the sand. Actually, I think I'm going like, to take a page out of your book and I'm going to do what you're doing. And I'm going to kind of look into see what other, what else is going on around the world so I feel informed and not so ignorant but at the same time not infuriated either <laughs> right in these heavy times I think that's good enough thank you T uh, appreciate your input there.